After six years of not playing NDSU, men's basketball continued their rivalry in 2010-2011, that school year. The NDSU men have played in Grand Forks since then, but they've never visited the Betty. A little over a week ago, UND had a chance to play host on their true home floor. That's the thing, we haven't played them in the Betty yet, so uh, I think I'm just looking forward to, to that and I'm seeing uh, how many fans are actually going to pack this place up. And I can't even imagine how the Betty's going to look, but I'm definitely excited. Welcome to the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center in Grand Forks, where UND and NDSU meet for the fourth time since both have made the move to Division I. More underway at the Betty for UND NDSU men's basketball. To Huff, centered on the floor, works it around the perimeter to the left side to Webb it comes, works left baseline drive. Tough take and finish that time on a drive off the left baseline. There's Molly with a drive and finish. And it's 6 0 North Dakota in the opening two minutes. Here comes Huff, off to the races. Hill's going to step through a defender, lay it up and finger roll it in. Anderson will drive it along the baseline, lob a pass for Huff in the left corner, a three up and good. North Dakota leads NDSU 44-35 through one half of basketball at the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center in Grand Forks. Swing it to the right corner for Huff who fires up a three. Go! Troy Huff! Here's Hooker, got a ball screen from Schuler, swung it for Anderson. Right side wing, three, good! Up the left sideline, work back to his right, top of the key. Will put up the shot off the window, get it to go! Quinton Hooker with a runner, what a drive and finish high off the glass! And he drew the contact, and the young freshman just proved why he's ready right now. This is a game, a type of an opponent you're going to have to beat if you're serious about contending uh, for, for the Big Sky. These are the type of games we must win on our home floor uh, against that quality of opponent, uh, a team who's battle-tested and senior-laden, just like we are. But uh, I thought our guys uh, did, a, did a tremendous job of accepting that challenge. Work on the left side wing, beat it for Jamal Webb, look inside, lob it for their Alonzo trailer. Rebounded by Schuler. give it to Huff, take off, send it in with the emphatic two-handed flush. And here is the Betty at its feet, 91-72 with 90 seconds left to play. Nash is gonna go up and jam it. Oh my, was that ever a flush? Five, here's Webb. And the fans are on their feet, and North Dakota has defeated North Dakota State by 18 at the Betty, 95-77. An emphatic win over the in-state rivals.